Good morning, Facebook and YouTube followers. This is uh, John Demokas, a.k.a. Half Man, Half Cichlid. Just a quick shot here of my 340-gallon uh, African Cichlid uh, grow-out tank. Uh, as I'm transitioning from Predator Haps back to colorful uh, regular haps and peacocks and uh, growing them out in this uh, 340 gallon uh, aquarium. That's a separate video getting into some of the uh, exciting species that uh, I've uh, discovered from uh, various uh, uh, local breeders. Anyway, uh, we all want to make our aquariums uh, more exciting. One of the ways to do it, of course, is uh, having colorful, healthy fish. But in this video, I'm going to talk about something a little bit uh, different that, uh, that uh, I really uh, enjoy. And it's another uh, fish family that is uh, native to the Rift Lakes in uh, Africa. In the uh, lower bottom of, of this aquarium, I've got uh, about 15 of various, well actually two, Cynodonus species. Uh, Cynodonus multipunctatus and uh, Cynodonus poli. And uh, they're major uh, Hangout is this uh, large piece of uh, of uh, Texas Holy Rock. Anyway, I just threw some food in there, and you can see they're starting to uh, come out and scavenge for uh, the one millimeter pellets that I put into the tank. But so are the uh, uh, cichlids. But uh, anyway. Uh, I'm trying to get more of the catfish to come out, but, but right now the cichlids are so uh, involved in picking up the food that they're kind of uh, intimidating uh, the catfish. There's a few over there. There's a multipunctatus, and uh, here comes another one over here. Uh, interestingly, uh, the fish have started to breed within this uh, the Holy Rock. So uh, a number of the, the specimens that I have in here, you can see one there over in the distance, uh, are actually uh, the offspring of uh, some of the catfish that uh, I have uh, in this uh, aquarium. So let's see if maybe we can zoom in on a couple of these guys here. There's a uh, Cynodonus uh, poli, a couple of them hovering around the rocks trying to find some uh, some of the food that's uh, made its way to the base, to the uh, bottom of the aquarium. Uh, you can see I have a lot of uh, blue colored fish uh, growing in this tank, one of my favorite colors, uh, now the Placidochromis uh, white lips and also uh, star sapphire. But anyway, I'd highly encourage uh, those in the African uh, cichlid community to uh, explore adding interest to their aquarium by uh, getting some of the uh, Cynodonus uh, uh, catfish added to uh, their collection. Uh, you know, they're they're really interesting. I find them cute, and and uh, occasionally with a female uh, African cichlid here, I'll get some offspring. But but it's really neat have seeing the the baby catfish poke their their eyes out now and then to uh, to grab a few uh, morsels of uh, food. I'm switching over to my 500 gallon. And uh, we've got some larger Cynodonus in this aquarium. I believe they're Cynodonus uh, uh, eupterus. And uh, 
they really do a good job of keeping the uh, bottom of the uh, aquarium uh, spotless and uh, and uh, again adding a lot of interest uh, to uh, the activity level within the tank. Seems like all the cat, well, there they are over there coming over here. They come in a pack when they sense food. But I've got some uh, spotted eupterus, and I do believe the other is a, uh, this big guy here is a eupterus uh, uh, hybrid. I've got uh, four or five of them in this aquarium. And, I, and again, they're excellent scavengers. They had interest to the tank and uh, they make it uh, more realistic in terms of uh, uh, being a, uh, a, uh, a tank that uh, you know, represents the species that are in the, uh, the lakes in, uh, in uh, the Rift Valley. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, highly encourage you to consider uh, some of these neat uh, uh, catfish in your uh, stocking out your African tanks.